Hello, so I'm going to do um, the first of a, a couple of long term tests. So this was only supposed to be 12 months, but I completely forgot. Uh, and it's actually been two years, but this is an LED uh, headlamp bulb. So this is actually a H7. Uh, so it means it's just got the uh, the one purpose. So it's just lit up the once, whereas the H4 is used um, as high and low beam. So this is just one. So this is in this particular headlamp, it's actually got uh, two bulbs in it, opposed to just the one that does both jobs. And effectively, I've been really impressed. I was a bit nervous, so I kept the uh, high beam as the traditional incandescent type bulb and just used the LED for the, the, the dipped. And it's worked faultlessly for the last two years. Um, probably one of the reasons why I've got to do the test after a year is just that they just work. Uh, this is the more expensive one, so this is about, um, I think this was close to £40 for the pair, obviously. Um, so that, what's that? It's all like $50, $55. Uh, so a little bit more expensive than uh, just your incandescent type halogen bulbs. Um, but the quality of the light is so much better, it's so much crisper. Um, it penetrates the dark so much better uh, than your, your normal halogen bulb. Uh, the only problem is, is that uh, the only criticism, and it's not really that much of a criticism, is the definition of dark to light. So there's a defined line where the light stops, whereas with the incandescent, it seems to sort of spread it. So it's got a much, um, uh, what's the word I can use, a fuzzier edge, so it's not sort of light than dark it's it blends more whereas this is very defined but it's far more uh, outweighed by the just the, the the penetration of the dark that you get and like i said over two years i've not had any issues um so i'm really really happy with it i'll put a link in the description to this particular bulb um and what i'll do now is i'll just show you the difference between the color of the um, of the LED against the halogen. I can't really do any nighttime tests with it because I just don't have the camera equipment to do it. Um, um, so I'll just show you that now. So you can see the colour difference. This is the LED light and this is the traditional halogen light. And the difference is just marked. There's so much crisper uh, in the uh, LED light. But what you do have this is the sound of the fan. It is quite a noisy fan, but obviously when you're driving, you don't hear a thing at all. Um, it's only when you park up, so at the moment the engine's off and uh, the lights are on. But uh, if you have the, I think it's called Follow Me Home or the home parking uh, option set where it stays on after you turn the car off, this is the sort of noise you get. But it's really not an issue. So yeah, really impressed. Um, would definitely recommend it. What I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to do another little experiment. Um, I've got a much cheaper one. So this is about uh, £20 or is that $25. Um, it does feel far less substantial. Again, I'll put a link in the description for this as well. Um, the heat sink is a lot smaller. Um, I don't know, it just feels a little bit more flimsy. Um, and the fans at the back. So the fans are to um, to reduce the heat on the actual element. Um, I'll give this one a go and see how that fares after 12 months. Um, so I'm going to swap this one into here, put the new one into here. Uh, I have actually done a little test and they seem to, they're the same colour. Um, so they're, they're both the same sort of lux as well. Uh, so the same brightness, the same power, so they're both, uh, what are that, 36 watts. Um, so yeah, so it'll be interesting to see if the cheaper one, so this is half the price of this one, um, if it makes much of a difference. But highly recommend the, the more expensive one. I'll come back to you on the cheaper one. And like I said, the description, uh, sorry, the link to it is in the description. Uh, so hopefully you liked it. Um, and I'll be doing a few more of these uh, where I do... Um, reviews of the things I've tried, uh, tools and other parts. Uh, if you want to see them, uh, why not uh, click on like so other people can find it and subscribe and click on the little bell button and that will let you know when the next video is up. Okay, have fun. Cheers. Bye.
If you found this video useful, why not click on like so other people can find it? And if you want to subscribe, I'll be doing lots more videos on VWs and Minis and Land Rovers and MGs and lots of other cars and things. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll speak to you soon.